quick story. I'm one of six kids, second to last, and my baby brother has always been an entrepreneur. He's had several businesses. His first business was raising mice for people with snakes, and we live way out in the country, so my mom would like drive him all around to deliver these mice. He was probably seven. And um, someone asked for him to kill the mice, so he started coming up with all these creative ways for mass killings. And we're in the kitchen and we hear this explosion upstairs. And we go up there and there's dead mice all over the floor. He's rewired a lamp wire to a cookie sheet and plugged it in the wall. And the socket was smoking. And my mom was like, no more mice, Levi. <laughs> so the next business he had, he was 15 and he started um, growing some plants in the window. And that turned into like 25 plants or so of wacky tobacco. And uh, my mom is known as the Purple Bud Queen. She came from Columbia. So she's like, yeah, it's cool. And we're all like, no, it's not cool. <laughs> so the next business he migrated to was cockfighting. I don't know if you all have cockfighting up here in Wisconsin, but it's filled with characters of ill repute. And um, I went to a cockfight to see what my little brother was up to. and. Um, there was a guy that came in with a crocodile dundee hat, a trench coat, and a big ass bag. And the crowd just, all the bleachers went, migrated towards him and was throwing money at him. And I was like, this guy has drugs. He's gotta have the drugs. It turned out he was selling beef jerky. <laughs> <laughs> so that was cool. But um, cockfighting wasn't sustainable long term. So my little brother left his part-time job at Save-A-Lot and went to the Marines. And he would write us letters telling us how hard it was all the time. And I wrote him this song in return. It's called Lane Hart. That's my maiden name. And that's what he still goes by because he got married, but he didn't change his last name. So.